Well, hello, I'm, I'm Stuart Carney. I uh, came to UQ at the end of January. I was previously the Dean of Medical Education at King's College London with around 450 medical students per year. I'm also a psychiatrist and I've been working uh, in general adult uh, psychiatry, predominantly liaison psychiatry in the general hospital. And for the last 10 years, I had responsibility for the internship and JHO programs across the UK and Malta. So I decided to move to Australia um, for a fresh challenge uh, and particularly to UQ I was attracted um, by the can-do attitude, by the brilliant um, staff that we have here uh, and the university's commitment uh, uh, to social accountability. I think the major challenge that uh, a medical graduates are going to have to grapple with is the ageing population and the increasing number of people living with two or more long-term conditions. If I've learned anything in medical education, it is that we can't fully anticipate what the world will look like in a decade, uh, let alone sort of two or three decades time. So we have to prepare our uh, next generation of doctors to be sort of problem solvers, uh, committed to lifelong learning, capable of solving complex problems with their colleagues uh, and with patients. And I think fundamentally what we are seeking to do is to ensure that our graduates are safe and effective from day one as interns, but pluripotential, able to grow in role. Medical education is and must rise to the sort of the changing needs of the patients and the population uh, we serve. Uh, so I think uh, some of the areas which we really do need to grapple with are how do we uh, ensure that our doctors are able to practice safely and effectively from day one, that they're pluripotential, that they can grow in those roles, that they can harness uh, technology, that they can um, really sort of rise to the challenge and opportunity that the genomic revolution is bringing in personalised healthcare. My immediate priority is to listen and learn, uh, to understand the rich and varied opportunities that we have here at UQ, to meet with our uh, clinical partners, our academic and professional services partners, uh, and, uh, and, and spend time with our students to understand what their needs are. It's very easy for somebody to come from outside um, and, uh, and with a particular sort of uh, way of doing things. I want to start off by, uh, by understanding where we are and, uh, and bringing together that team to, to really uh, ensure that our medical education programme is the best it possibly can be. So I'm looking forward to working with staff and students. I'm uh, looking forward to enjoying their fresh perspective on how we can grapple with these global challenges, which is how do we provide the best possible healthcare uh, to the patients and the public we serve? How do we address some of the inequalities, uh, the health inequalities within our society? How do we address and encourage people to consider working uh, in rural and remote uh, communities and how do we equip the next generation with the skills they need uh, to push back the boundaries of knowledge and, uh, and make new discoveries. One of the other reasons why I was uh, keen to come out to Australia is to enjoy the, out, uh, the outdoors. Um, the seasons when you could go out and enjoy uh, the outdoors in the UK were somewhat constrained, uh, so particularly keen to get back into cycling. I uh, want to take up uh, paddle boarding, uh, do a bit of kayaking, uh, although I do understand I need to avoid some of the, the sharks in the Brisbane River. Um, but uh, yes, uh, looking forward to taking a lot of exercise, great food uh, and occasionally uh, a good Australian wine.